the spanish girl part one from poems by nora may french read for LibriVox.org by jennifer duval one the vine to screen this depth of shade that sleeps beyond the garden's shine on jose's careful strings there creeps a slender little vine jose is kind but age is cold my laughter meets his sigh the house is old the garden old o oh, young the vine and i i love the web of light it weaves across my half-drawn thread its speech to me of waking leaves while jose hears his dead so ever-reaching tendril fine my eager visions run so as the long day passes twine my thoughts shot through with sun two the chapel the vanished women of my race the daughters of a mouldering year set often in this quiet place their votive tapers burning clear the patient waxen wreaths they wove they hung before the virgin's shrine to them it was a work of love jose decrees a task of mine they glimmer where a portrait swings women as proud and white as death ah they could mould these lifeless things they had no blood they had no breath for holiness and meekness strive jose would have me pray their prayers now mary warm and all alive you shall not think me child of theirs so many waxen prayers you heard if i should heap your altar high with boughs that knew the nesting bird with flowers that bloomed against the sky and let my wondering soul ascend in vivid question swift surmise i think your shadowy face would bend and look at me with startled eyes three the garden they planted lilies where they might a drift of vestals slim and tall that lined these winding paths with white that filled the court from wall to wall they shrank from savage splendid heat as from their teasing fires of hell only when morns and eves were sweet they walked and liked their garden well slow moving through a pallid mist always in black and black they came with busy rosary on wrist and all the summer whirled aflame i planted flowers that know the sun i brought them in from field and stream I passed not by the smallest one that pleased me with a yellow gleam. Then in a hidden chest I found the marvel of an old brocade, strange figures on an azure ground with threads of crimson overlaid. And when the noon is fierce and bright along the garden fold on fold, my silken splendor like a light I trail between the aisles of gold. Four across jose's unending drone some ancient tale of arms and doom there came a poignant sweetness blown from sleeping leagues of orange bloom and lo the steady candles blurred like shining fishes in a net and jose's kindly voice i heard but little one thine eyes are wet he vowed the tale had made me weep its shadowy woes and courtly speech nor knew they passed like wraiths of sleep the heart a vagrant wind could reach how can i tell whose fancy floats as swift and passionate impulse veers what gust may sweep its rose-leaf boats adown a sudden tide of tears five where man has marred and nature yields and never plant nor beast is free along the tame and trampled fields an old unrest has followed me now walk alone the night and i on foaming reaches curving stark and battling with a windy sky the stormy moon is bright and dark facing the sea with streaming hair my broken singing flung behind whipped by the keen exultant air till lips must close and eyes are blind loving the sharp and cruel spray the great waves thundering might on might the pagan heart must shout and sway tossed in the passion 
of the night. Six. Oh, never wings, the sisters chide, wild upward wings that shine and blur, nor mourn they winds of even tide that bid the rhythmic garden stir. And yet this life I cannot still, this winged and restless strength of flight that swings me down a singing hill or answers to the calling night. They curb when I would dance, would dance, but all the graven saints, it seems, most strange they make for my mischance, no grim confessional of dreams. The flower of heart's desire is sown in fields unknown to waking sight. Down glittering spaces, all alone, I whirl the fire of my delight. Then, on the music's ebb and flow, pause as a poising bird is hung, with supple body swaying low, with parted lips and arms upflung. 7. Always of heaven, the sisters tell, although of earth I question most, I would I knew the world as well as Peter and the angel host. Jose may journey, never I, in all the lonely hours I spend. He bids me tell my beads and sigh. I wonder if the saints attend. For when the moon is small and thin, and night is fragrant on the land, the earth and I are so akin, I think no saint could understand. Something within me sleeps by day, to moon and wind its petals part. It is not for my soul, I pray, ah, virgin, for my untried heart. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.